The United States Geological Survey, USGS, welcomes you to the San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco is the traditional focal point of the San Francisco Bay Area. The estimated population of San Francisco is 740,000 people. With nearly 16,000 people per square mile, San Francisco is the second most densely populated major American city. The San Francisco Bay Area, also known as the Bay Area, is the metropolitan region that surrounds the San Francisco Bay in Northern California. It encompasses the cities of San Francisco, San Jose, Oakland, their suburbs, and also the North Bay. Silicon Valley is located in the Southern Bay Area. Thousands of high technology companies are headquartered either in or near Silicon Valley, the high tech hub of the nation. The Bay Area is comprised of cities, towns, universities, military bases, airports, and associated regional, state, and national parks sprawled over nine counties. The USGS Western Region Center is located 50 kilometers south of San Francisco in the city of Menlo Park, which has a population of approximately 31,000 people. The Menlo Park Science Center has been the flagship research center for the USGS in the Western United States for more than 50 years. It is the largest USGS research center in the West and houses extensive laboratories, scientific infrastructure, and library facilities. Since its establishment in 1954, the USGS facilities in the Menlo Park area have been home to numerous scientists and research teams whose work has done much to advance the understanding of the Earth. My name is Rufus Catchings. I'm chief scientist of the Earthquake Hazards Team here at Menlo Park. Uh, the Earthquake Hazards Team does research related to earthquakes throughout the Western United States. We monitor earthquakes from the uh, Canadian border all the way down to Mexico, California, Oregon, Washington. Our principal goals are to understand earthquakes, what makes them happen, try to understand uh, possibly what triggers an earthquake, when we're likely to have one, but more importantly to understand when and where and what will be the hazard and how can we minimize those hazards related to earthquakes. It was here in Menlo Park that in the 1960s a basic research project on the Earth's magnetic field laid the foundation for what became a revolution in the Earth sciences, a revolution we now call plate tectonics. Scientists in Menlo Park conduct a wide array of both basic and applied science, usually in cooperation with scientists from outside the center. Scientific research and natural hazard assessments are critical to effective mitigation planning, short-term forecasting, and event response. As a geologist, I'm interested in the relationship between earthquakes and plate tectonics. The San Andreas Fault's a major plate boundary. It, um, and I've been investigating how that boundary changes through geologic time, which means over the last several million years. I um, just finished an, a study of this that includes an animation that shows how the geography of California has changed through time. I'm currently working on applying this broad knowledge to the modern San Andreas Fault in particular. I'm interested in the northern end of the San Andreas Fault and how the fault slip ends where it goes at the end of the San Andreas Fault, where it's very new and poorly defined. As the nation's largest water, earth, and biological science and civilian mapping agency, the USGS collects, monitors, analyzes, and provides scientific understanding about natural resource conditions, issues, and problems. Our team uh, has two or three main themes. Um, they are coastal hazard, which include coastal erosion, landslide, coral reef bleaching, uh, and other things, and coastal mapping. We collect lots of high-resolution maps in our coastal seas and deep oceans around the United States. The Menlo Park, as well as the USGS Reston Library, are designated as official depositories for selected U.S. government publications. This branch of the USGS Library collection covers Earth sciences with emphasis on Western U.S. and the Circum-Pacific area. 
In addition to the standard USGS topographical maps, the USGS Map Sales Office has a number of educational posters and USGS publications for sale. Also, a large variety of pamphlets and brochures on various earth science topics are available at no cost. The USGS currently employs about 600 people at their Middlefield Road campus in Menlo Park. Their findings have helped to find mineral and energy resources, solve environmental problems, and make society safer from natural hazards. Uh, we have a group of scientists here who do work on water resources studies. Some of the topics that we uh, work on are the role of climate change on water resources. Uh, we also study the role of streams and rivers and how they interact with groundwater. And finally, we have a big program uh, here looking at the ecology and the water resources of San Francisco Bay. The USGS has made great efforts to bring the excitement and understanding of science to decision makers and the public so that they can better appreciate the earth we live on and make more informed decisions about land use and natural hazards. Happening on a daily basis.